never comes easy in Iowa. The crops here are usually watered with sweat. So it isn't hard to pin down why Iowans have a love affair with the sport of wrestling. It really is a blue collar sport and I think that's, you know, Iowa's a blue collar community and, and state. Big stuff! Big stuff! Here, wrestling isn't just something the kids do, it's something that they live. Being tough-minded, being resilient, um, and to be an Iowan, I think you have to be resilient. 18-year-old Ahmed Castro Chavez became a wrestler at Esterville Lincoln Central High School after the head coach plucked him right out of the hallway. And he walks over and says, yeah, how about wrestling? What about it? I'm going to try it. And he looks around at the guys I got standing around me and he goes, OK. Well, at first when I started, I was like, wow, that was really hard. <laughs> I didn't really get my first win until almost halfway through the season. But then things began to click. Still, in the 220-pound class of the highly respected Lakes Conference, even Ahmed admits there was one wrestler in a class by himself. His senior year, well, he became, he became a stud. At six foot four, 220 pounds, Spencer High School's Austin Roberts went from farm boy to the man. There you go, he spreads up fast, gets the takedown. My jaw dropped the first time I saw him, for sure. He was the most physically impressive high school kid I've ever seen in my life. I mean, he just had muscles coming out of muscles. Yet, when he wasn't in the center circle, those who knew him best describe him this way. Kind, humble, uh, helpful. Big, gentle teddy bear. The first time they wrestled, Austin beat Ahmed fairly quickly. They were scheduled to meet again in early January 2016, but just before Christmas, there was other business. They were both on hand for the Spencer Invitation. For Austin, it was a chance to improve on his 14-0 season record. We would have put him up there with, with anybody in the state. Head up, head up For Ahmed, when his own match was over, it was a chance to learn and admire. I like watching a lot of number one ranked wrestlers wrestle just because I like to you know, observe the moves. In the championship of the Spencer Invitation, Austin got off to his usual strong start. But then, after a stoppage in action, something went terribly wrong. They were coming back to the center of the mat, and he, he wasn't coming back. Yeah, pretty crazy. Everybody was just standing up, looking over to see what's going on, and all you see is Austin on the floor. And... Austin had collapsed and was struggling to breathe. He was still conscious when his mom scrambled out of the stands to kneel by his side. He looked at me, and he was like, and he just said, I'm going down. No one knew it at the time, but Austin had a heart defect. He was rushed to the hospital, but despite the best effort of trainers, paramedics, doctors, and nurses, Austin Roberts died at the age of 18. It was just unbelievable. <laughs> With the Iowa wind, grief blew into Spencer. The whole town felt it for sure. The wrestling community obviously took it uh, the hardest. It was just three weeks later that the Spencer wrestling team had to be back on the mat for a dual meet. Everyone knew it would be an emotional night, but nobody knew how emotional. It's hard not to think about Austin a little bit, first time back in the gym. And no one expected Austin's mom to be there. I just felt like Austin would want me to do that. That night was also the night that Austin was supposed to wrestle Ahmed again. Before everything started, we had a moment of silence for him. So it was kind of a hard night. In honor of Austin, his teammates were on a mission. Said every point's gonna be crucial tonight, and that was a big win. They won one match after another against Esterville until it came time for the 220-pound class. I said, look, Ahmed, they're not going to put anybody out. They may just uh, forfeit this one. Spencer would not be wrestling anyone in Austin's place, so Ahmed could take the forfeit and not only get a win, but some much-needed points for his team. Instead, Ahmed made a different point. 
I wanted to show a way to show honor to the Roberts family. Ahmed refused the win by forfeiting the match himself, and then he walked over to the grandstand. We were sitting there and he came up and, you know, I stood up and he gave me a great big hug and um, just told me that he loved Austin. I don't think people realized at first what was, what was happening. And then they did. The energy in this room was something I've never felt before or since. The crowd stood up and was, I think it seemed like it was 15, 20 minutes they were clapping and on their feet. It's kind of nice to know, you know, that there's other people out there that saw what we saw. Ahmed said it wasn't that big a deal, but simple things can sometimes mean everything. I have goosebumps thinking about it right now. You know, it was really cool to watch and see. In Iowa, the seeds of healing have been planted. It's always nice to show respect to everybody. Even in the darkest type of times, there can still be a hopeful gesture. All thanks to one young man who took a forfeit and ended up winning. It was just the classiest thing I've ever, I've seen in person.